And we're back, Video Guys Live. Every Tuesday at 3 p.m., we tell you about the products we sell, about the technology in the industry, about what's going on. In November, the whole month of November was NDI November. If you're interested about NDI and NDI switching and NDI products and NDI technology, there's a ton of shows on our website. You can check them all out and see them. But today's show is about the YOLO box, YOLO box live. And oops, oh, had a slide there. Shouldn't have shown you. Sorry about that. YOLO live, YOLO box, 3.70, biggest update yet. We have... A couple of months ago, a few months ago, YOLO introduced the YOLO Box Pro. Now, can we cut to this overhead shot for a second? I want to cut to the overhead show just so people can see we've done comparison shows. YOLO Box Pro, bigger unit, more inputs, equally as easy to use and to go with. As you can see, the classic YOLO Box right here, that's the OG. We like to call it the OG because it's the original gangster. We've got the Pro. A lot of YOLO Box OG owners were getting frustrated because so many new features were included in the YOLO Box Pro. And the guy, Frank, and the team from YOLO was saying, you know, we're working on doing this. We want to deliver as many features as we can from the YOLO Box Pro into the YOLO Box OG. And that's why we started calling it the OG, the original gangster. It kind of started on the Facebook user groups. I got to really give big kudos to the folks at YOLO for doing this. But there's a little thing that I want everyone to understand, and that is, is that the YOLO Box Pro has a bigger processor. So as a result, there's certain features they can add to it easier. And getting those same features in the YOLO Box OG aren't impossible to get there, but they took a little more, more time and a little bit of effort. I want to give a big shout out to the folks at YOLO Live because these upgrades are available for free. You own the unit. It's an Android device. It keeps getting better. Anytime they add features, they add performance. Guess what? You get that for free with your unit. So without further ado, Let's jump into, first we're going to go into the two different units. So we have the YOLO Box, the YOLO Box Pro, both powerful, constant firmware updates. I think I kind of got to that a little bit. But let's talk about the OG, the original YOLO Box. Switch, monitor, record, stream, all in one handheld, like we told you. Two HDMI inputs, one USB, custom graphics, stream to three destinations simultaneously and more. It's $899. And then we have the YOLO Box Pro, which is available for $1299. It's a bigger unit, bigger screen. Three HDMI inputs, one USB input, chroma key, USB-C input, and more. And now I just want to let you guys know that the prices we're showing you in today's show are the prices that are up there for uh, the, the standard prices on these products. We are in the holiday season, and you will be having sales that come on and off for these products over the next few weeks. There were some Black Friday sales. We know there's gonna, there might be some end-of-the-year Christmas sales. What I want to say is that if you're looking for the item and you're not seeing the price you love, Give us a call, let us get you on the phone, and perhaps maybe we can work out a little deal for you and help you get a YOLO box at a discounted price. All right, next, let's go into what the difference and overview of these two products are. Can we bring this up full screen? Thank you very much. Obviously, the most important thing, the display, 8 inches versus 7 inches. The YOLO box Pro is a little bit brighter. You get 3 HDMI inputs versus 2. Chroma key, great feature in the YOLO Box Pro that, like I was saying before, I don't think you're going to get the ability to get Chroma key in the standard YOLO Box. I think there's certain things that are just processor dependent, and that's one of them. USB-C, two of them, one for charging, another for full USB-C and out for adding storage. Line in and mic in in the YOLO Box Pro versus only audio in. With the two inputs, you also get rudimentary mixing. And like I said, the bigger processor, the Qualcomm 660. So that compares the two. Now what I want to go into is what I was talking about. Let's compare the YOLO Box OG with the YOLO Box Pro about added features with reaching updates. Well, as you can see, and I want to actually start on the black check marks, and these were existing features that were in the YOLO Box Pro now for not since the beginning, pretty much since the beginning. A lot of people with YOLO Box OG said, I want those features. So we've seen some YOLO Box Pro upgrades, which have added some features and some OG that have added some features. So all these green checks are features added recently, and you can see not only has the YOLO Box OG caught up, it's even gotten a few features added that uh, aren't yet in the YOLO Box Pro, but I'm certain they will be on its next update shortly. And some of the features, we're going to go into the ones we like the best. So let's start knocking those down. Um, before we do that, if we could bring this up full screen, I forgot this slide was here. This is the latest versions that you're on. So you're on 3.7. You're actually on 3.7.1 right now with the Yellow Box OG. And then there's the Pro, the 1.2.0. But just look at that. 11.22, 12.1. Today's 12.7. Or is it the 8th? Am I wrong? 
Seven. Seven. So in two weeks, basically, you've gotten upgrades to both these products. And they upgrade automatically. They upgrade simp really simple. You, you power up your, your, your YOLO box, your YOLO box Pro. It checks in with the home base. When, as soon as you connect it to the internet, it tells you you got an upgrade. You take a few minutes and it upgrades, and it's an Android device. So it's as quick and simple as updating your phone if you have an Android phone. It's not a big deal. There's nothing you have to do other than type yes once or tap a yes checkbox once or twice. So now let's get into the features that I really love that are now available in the YOLO box OG. First and foremost is monitor mode. Monitor mode basically, the terminology for some of this stuff is kind of lost in translation a little bit, but monitor mode basically means is that in the original YOLO box, in order to do all the features, you had to be streaming first for everything else to engage. So you couldn't record. Now you can use it as just a recorder and you could do a show that you never stream. So this is great for YouTubers and people who just want to grab and make some training videos and things like that, but they don't necessarily want to go live. So you can monitor and record without encoding and streaming. So in the original YOLO boxes, you had to stream and encode in order to record and monitor. Now they're separated, which is a great feature. And the features we're going to talk about were all heavily requested by YOLO box users on the YOLO box Facebook groups. Animated countdown overlay timer. I love this feature. It's really great. You know, we always do before our shows a little pre-show. It's best practices. Everyone recommends it. Now with your YOLO, you get a nice little timer. That's fantastic. Let's say you're doing a wedding or you're doing a, uh, a sporting event, a kid's sporting event, or maybe you're, you're, you're doing a, 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 corporate, a, 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 some, a corporate news event and you say the show starts at three. It's best practices for a few minutes before the show to let your stream start. It lets your people find it and get linked on. It also gives you some time in case you're having issues with your CDN or your Wi-Fi, your internet connectivity. So love that they've got the counter. A lot of people will download counters or create their own counters. It's great that it's integrated in the box. Just another example of how the folks at YOLO Live are listening to the YOLO Box users. Next, flip your screen upside down. Sounds like why? But the truth of the matter is, is when you go to some of the websites I talked about in the pre-show and you see what people are doing, people are hooking up their YOLO boxes into all kinds of complex rigs. And sometimes on that rig, where the mount is, is hanging under something as opposed to over it. So the fact that you can now flip the YOLO box over and have the display flip with you just gives you more flexibility and easier for you to configure it in whatever kind of rig you want to configure it in. So that's one of those things that YOLO box is listening to customers. Customers said they wanted it. YOLO Live delivered, again. Adjusting transitions, uh, durations, that, that, that's a common sense, a simple one, and I think that that's great that they did that with the durations, being able to change the speed of the durations. We don't always want every dissolve and every transition to be at the same speed. Same thing for rolling captions. It's nice to be able to bring titles on the screen, but we want to have variable speed. So now we have 0.5, 1x, 1.5, 2x, and 3x for the speed of which we move those captions on and off. Constant frame rate for streaming and recording. This is a big one for people who had frustrating experiences with streaming at times. And sometimes your streaming just isn't cooperating with you. You're not getting the best throughput or output that you can. And by adjusting the frame rate, that's one of the ways that you can cheat and have your video still look smooth, just not at a full 30 frames per second. So that's a little cheat that I know a lot of people will do. You know, the 24 is considered the cinematic look. I just like using these when I have to try to, I want to keep my resolution going, but I just my bandwidth just isn't cooperating with me that day. Import two videos from your SD card. Hey, if you can get one video from your SD card, why not get a second? Two is always better than one. Plus, one of those videos can actually be a PDF that you could bring into your YOLO to do, in your, to do into your show, kind of like the way we do here. So you could actually preload a, a PDF and have it come in and create your own show. Adjusting the screen brightness. This was one of those things that we're really glad the folks at YOLO gave us because when you're outdoors, you really need the screen to be brighter. And when you're indoors, if the screen's overly bright, it kind of makes it more difficult to use. So it's one of those common sense, hey, how come I can't adjust the brightness? Enough people asked for it. They delivered it as a feature in the YOLO Box Pro. And now it's available in the YOLO Box OG. All right, YOLO Box Pro firmware, upcoming features. Now, these are features that the folks at YOLO Box have confirmed are actually coming. USB-C program output coming soon. 
This is on the Yolo Box Pro. Why is this so important? Once we have this output functioning, we'll be able to have the Yolo Box feed into any laptop or computer that could be running Zoom or Teams or anything else. So it lets your Yolo Box have output via USB C that can then be input into another device. Very cool feature. We're hoping to get it on the Yolo Box. Pro, and I really am hoping to get that working correctly on the Yolo box as well over time. So let's see, what else do we have? That's all the features we have from Yolo box, but let's talk about some features that I have heard end users and myself request that I think should be really cool. And I know the folks at Yolo box are watching our show because they love our show. They love that we love the Yolo box, the Yolo box pro. So guys, if you're listening, here comes video guys requests my wish list for Yolo Box, number one, save multiple shows, all presets, all settings, streams, etc. This is really important, folks. Right now, if you're using Yolo Box for different situations, different events, you might be using it the same way. Let's say every Sunday you're using it for a church, but during the week you're using it for different stuff. We need to get the ability to save all our presets, our settings. I even like to save our animations and our graphics. I like to be like, save your show, save it to the SD card. And then if I want to pull it up, I say the show is Sunday, name it church, whatever I want to name it. And I can bring up that show with all my presets, what my HDMI inputs and stuff like that, what my, if, I, if I'm using sports, my scoreboards, what have you. It's probably the number one request from Yolo Box users. And now you're getting it directly from the video guys. Let's make this happen, team. Next one, keep giving us better graphics and, and just more motion, more animation. Graphics are cool. We all like getting graphics. When we bring them on the screen, we should have different ways to bring those graphics in or out. I'd like to see them be able to maybe tumble onto the screen or some 3D stuff that we could do or have them go in or back. And whatever kind of animations you can give us. And as with the other things that you give us, give us flexible ability to set the time and duration of those. Next one. This one really, I think, is more for the Yolo Box Pro than the standard Yolo Box because I know what I'm asking for is going to require some power for that kind of performance. And that is number one, Yolo Box Pro is giving me multiple inputs. I want to be able to do a dual pip. That means me on the picture and two boxes. One, one, two. Or put them anywhere on the screen that I want that I have different boxes to show in the picture of pictures. So maybe I can have multiple people coming in. Maybe we can have a wide camera shot with some close-up shots or what have you. So I'm requesting that you go from a single pip to a dual pip. And then the other thing that I really want is a customized cropped pip setting. Now, if you look how we do our show, you'll see that I'm over here on the side and then I have my, PI, my, my, my PowerPoint or my PDF in full screen. Well, the Yolo box can do the PDF and it can put me in a PIP, but I think what really cool is it can put me in a crop PIP where it's just like me thinner. And we've seen other devices that do this. It's very popular. The Epifan Pearl family can do it. The Matrox Monarchs can do it. And if, in essence, we're doing it here on a virtual set. And that is let the, let, let the talent be in a PIP that's still a full length, not a box, and then put the stuff that's on the side that's on your display, your PDF. This is really good for education really strong for corporate when you're doing a, if I'm going to report my corporate numbers, my earnings or what have you. And I also think it's really cool for YouTubers who want to talk about different stuff and maybe what they want to have in the other PIP is a video that they're rolling that's a different video where maybe they're showing a video putting on cosmetics or whatever these kids do. And the last thing that I want to request, and this is the big one, and this is another one that I think can only be done for Yolo Box Pro, and that's NDI. Why do I want NDI on the Yolo Box Pro? If the Yolo Box Pro had NDI, that would mean that every camera that was an NDI camera could be seen by the Yolo Box if the Yolo Box was on the same network. That means I could have, A, in theory, more than the three inputs of the HDI inputs, but more important, I could have much longer runs and I could have those cameras located anywhere inside my church, my corporate boardroom, my studio. NDI makes it so convenient to bring those devices in, but NDI output is really cool too because now through NDI output I can have my output feed a Teams call. I can have my NDI output go to an overflow room that had an NDI decoder in it. Also, it would mean that the YOLO box would have another feature to its Swiss Army of all features and then it could be an NDI encoder and all NDI or NDI decoder. I would love to have both features in it. So guys, I know it's a big ask. 
you know how much the video guys love NDI. You know how much the video guys love YOLO box. Put NDI in the YOLO box pro guys. It will be a fantastic marriage and it will just increase the amount of love that the YOLO box gets all over the world. So that concludes our show on the YOLO box updates. Like I, like they say, the 3.7 biggest update yet. Guys, we showed you before the show, you can go to our website, our blog, you can go to the YOLO box blog, you can go to YouTube. There's so many videos, there's so much information about these products, they're really fantastic products. You can use the YOLO boxes in conjunction with other mixers or switches like an ATEM or an RGB link to get additional inputs or outputs and stuff. There are guys doing some incredible stuff. They're doing a, a, a YOLO box. YOLO box is the product that the world's been looking for since basically the Sling Studio stopped being produced by Dish and the Sling folks. For around $1,000, Yolo Box a little bit less, Yolo Box Pro a little bit more, you're getting a complete solutions. Here you go, love it. I forgot about we even had this video, thank you. Two great products that can be used to completely produce a show. And once again, it's so easy to mix or switch between devices here. And the other thing about the YOLO boxes that make them so amazing, and if you saw my top 10 list, you know what I'm talking about. You can leave the graphic up, that's cool. YOLO boxes are streamers, encoders, recorders, all in one, monitors, and you can play back video from the card as well. They are the Swiss Army knife of streaming. They are a fantastic solution for a house of worship, education, corporate video, anyone looking to get started in live video production and streaming, you don't have a big budget, you want to be something that's portable, that you can take with you wherever you want to go, but that's got the features that you need to do a really professional looking show with all the kind of video production quality we love. YOLO box is the way to go. YOLO box, like we said, bring that pricing back up if you could. Stay on that shot. YOLO box pro, Here, that's the one. $8.99, $8.99 for YOLO Box, $12.99 for YOLO Box Pro. And folks, just a little thing, we have a few units left in stock from the promo that was running over Black Friday. So if you give us a call at 800-323-2325, I think you'll be able to take advantage of some additional savings that may not be on the website, but it will be available to you if you give us a call. That's right, just call us at 800-323-2325. You can talk to our sales reps, Adam and Oliver are both extremely familiar with the Yellow Box. They use it out for doing some of their own shoots and their own shows of some bands and their own YouTubes and their own websites and things that they do. This is Gary from Video Guys. The usual spiel, like us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Twitter. Share these videos with your friends, share the love. And like I showed you before the show started, go to the Video Guys website or the YOLO website to learn a whole lot more about the YOLO box and about all these great products. This is Gary from Video Guys saying peace. Thank you for watching this week's Video Guys live webinar. We go live every Tuesday at 3 p.m. Eastern Time to our Facebook and YouTube pages with the latest news on live streaming, video editing, and video storage technology. Join us next week for a great webinar on the Epifan Pearl family of encoders. The following week, we'll be doing a New Year's storage roundup. Video Guys is available Monday through Friday. Give us a call at 1-800-323-2325. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram to stay connected with all of our updates. And you can like us on Facebook. Keep an eye out for our live videos, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.